Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over all of the content that EA just released. It does look like we are getting those Thursday re-releases or upgrades of uh, the icons that we got in NHL 20. As there was these random icons that got released on Thursday. So we'll break down all of those. Um, and again, like I said, if you're new to NHL 21 on Thursdays last year in NHL 20... Um, there would be these random icons that would be released, a lot like um, the alumni and whatnot, not nothing like master set items. Think of it almost like prime times for the icons, uh, but we'll take a look at all those as well as the new prime times, uh, as there is about three or four that we want to take a look at. So as always, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and again, a new event is coming out today, guys. I will be streaming it live. If you want to see all the content as it comes out, just make sure you ch follow me on Twitch, www.twitch.tv. TV slash no sleeves 12 let's get into the new content all right we'll kick things off with the 83 jacob verona six foot 197 with the gladiator synergy 84 speed and acceleration with 87 agility isn't terrible again gladiator you're not really going to look to activate so he's got that mid 80s shot mid 80s hand stat as well uh stick checking and defensive awareness at 85 and 83 not all that terrible uh this wouldn't be a bad option if you are a free-to-play player looking to just get a bottom six left-handed win winger card uh but it, more often than not you're you're gonna want to look for someone that is howitzer or speedster uh gladiator just really doesn't do it especially on this card is his body checking would go from 78 75 to 78 just not really all that valuable so this would be a pass from me moving on we've got the 83 overall jake muzzin six foot three two thirteen one of the better cards in nhl 20 with the balance synergy again a synergy that not a lot of people are gonna look to activate uh, again, you always when it comes to the when it comes to the team based synergies, you always want to try and go for one that at least activates some sort of skating stat and not endurance. Um, so eighty four speed isn't bad on a defenseman though, like that's usable. Eighty four slap shot power is pretty weak. Stick checking and defensive awareness at eighty five uh, across the board. Uh, body checking eighty four at six foot three does mean that he is going to be able to do some work in his own zone. It's just again. Pretty tough with that speed stat and the accuracy for a slap shot. Not really going to help you out either. Uh, this is probably a pass for me, but if you paired him with someone really fast, like mm, Kale McCarr, something like that early on, not a bad card. Then we've got the 84 Philip Forsberg with Distributor, which means he is going to be extremely expensive. Just taking a look at him, if you have Distributor activated, 87 speed, acceleration, agility, 84 and 85, 85 shot across the board, and his hand stats all almost touching 90. This is a really good right-handed winger card. The problem is, is that he's just going to cost way too... I'm curious to see what he is in the auction list right now. 51's not terrible. Again, with the state of Distributor, 45 right there. He's probably going to go up in price when he's out of packs, but... That's not awful, to be honest with you. I mean, that's probably one of the cheapest distributor cards that I've seen that actually has value. This is an act. This is one you'd actually use that you know would actually be decent for your team. Not one of those uh, like Quinn Hughes or I'm trying to think off the top of my head, um, Jared Spurgeon kind of cards that just are the value is just not there for the price point. Um, not a bad card um, if you are looking for distributor. I mean, it's going to cost you no matter what. So 50k for a card that's actually not bad. You could do worse. And then lastly, we've got the 86 Mika Zibanejad um, with the Howitzer Synergy. Obviously, his speed is great at 89 with Howitzer, 92 with Distributor on, and then 90 shot basically across the board. Hand stats almost touching 90. Defensive awareness and stick checking at 86 and 89. This is a really good right-handed card. Um, he is going for about 100k right now. Uh, which is puts him just a little bit cheaper than Shite or Line A, which I I would probably take this card over Line A just at the price point, uh, but not bad option at all if you are looking for a new right-handed winger card for sure. All right, now on to the new icon cards, and again, it looks like Thursdays is going to be pretty regular. I'll get back to you on that, but we'll start things off with the 84 Marty Baron. <laughs> now I'm not really sure on the team picks for this, um, I, but regardless, when I think Marty Baron, I don't think New York Islanders. Anyways, with six foot two, he's got 83 speed, which is kind of low. Positioning's 84. This is like a lower end card for sure. His stats are just, you know, the importance. It looks like everything is just 84, as opposed to the important stats being higher. Um, with aggression of being 80, that's not terrible. But barrage as a synergy makes it uh, a pretty tough call here. So this would probably be an avoid for me. Moving on from him, we've got the 86 Bernie Nichols for the Chicago Blackhawks with the light the lamp synergy. 
Again, not a synergy that most people are going to look to activate. 82 speed is pretty tough, although you obviously can play him at center with 83 faceoffs, which would help you out there. But his shot, again, 90 accuracy, 87 power, just not really going to get things done. High 80s for his hand stats, except for deking and hand eye, which are really low. Uh, defensive awareness and stick checking, 87, 88. And his faceoff rating, 83. Like, you could do worse there. It's just. Man, without, without giving you a synergy that could help you out for your team, I don't think I would go after this card. I mean, you, he is usable because of his 83 faceoff, but other than that, I'm, I'm not really excited about this one. Next up, we've got the 85 at Yerke Lume, 6'1 with passing playmaker, uh, 83 speed and acceleration. That's the thing you're going to see a lot with these cards is they are going to be slower. Um, with a decent shot, though, 88 slap shot accuracy, 87 power, hand stats all over the place. Offensive awareness is 90, but Deking's 82. Passing puck control, 86 and 84, which is pretty weak. However, defensively, um, you know, with defensive awareness at 89, stick checking at 89 as well, you could do a lot worse for a left handed defenseman, especially one that's six foot one. Uh, with that shot, this actually is a pretty usable card as long as you have distributor or a defenseman on the right side that's really fast. Like, if you have John Carlson or, uh, you know, Ekblad, or even any, like, I always use Makar as an example, um, this would be a decent option because you could actually just fire bombs from the point and have a shot of it going in. Uh, defensive awareness and stick checking also good. This this isn't a terrible card. And we've got the 85 Jason Arnett, and again, I don't really think of him as a capital, but here we are. Has the Howitzer synergy, which honestly saves him because his skating stats are just an absolute mess. Six foot five, two twenty. He is insanely big, and with 80, 88 body checking, he is going to be able to get anyone off the puck in the uh, defensive zone, even in the offensive zone on the forecheck. Eighty-five faceoffs. I mean, again, as centerman, you can get away with slower guys. You need distributor activated, in my opinion. Eighty-two speed. I mean, getting him up to eighty-five would be a big help. 77 acceleration is an awfully tough sell, though. Deking is a 79, so he's got stone hands, but his shot isn't bad either. 91 power, uh, 85 accuracy with howitzer on. You could, like, again, defensively, this is a pretty nice card. If you're going to get someone for penalty killing, things like that, you're going to be able to knock people off the puck really easy with this card. I would love to try him out. I'm curious to see what he's going for. Um, uh, if it's nothing crazy, 20K, yeah, like... Under 20k isn't a bad price point, to be honest with you, for a bottom pairing guy that uh, defensively is elite. Next up, we've got the 84 Tommy Albolin from the Nordiques. Six foot two, 195 with the Speedster Synergy. Again, on left defense, thank God he's got the Speedster Synergy because he is uh, his skating stats are awfully rough. Uh, 84 speed, again 87 with distributor. Uh, defensively, not like his body checking is 83, which is okay. Um, but acceleration from the point is it's scary to have a defenseman that just has under 80 acceleration because if you lose the puck at the point, that's it. doesn't matter what your speed is. If you're not going to be able to get up to your top speed, there's no point. His defensive awareness is 90, which is great. Stick checking 88 as well. So he's going to be able to knock the puck off well with a stick check. Uh, but just not enough going on here. I, I think that the the important stats and his you know his wrist shot you know getting the bump on from Speedster, where his slap shot is just kind of weak. 82 and 83. This is a pass for me. And then lastly, we've got the 86 Mark Recchi from the Tampa Bay Lightning wingman synergy. 83 speed across the board, skate for skating. 85 shots. His hand stats all about 90, which is nice. And defensively, he's pretty good. Stick checking 90, defensive awareness 89, body checking 78. At five foot 10, 78 body checking, it means that he's just uh, going to be a liability in his own zone. And again, considering he's a little bit smaller with only 83 speed and a mid 80 shot, this would be an avoid for me. Cool card, but just, yeah, nothing doesn't do enough. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for today's content. Make sure you come back to the channel as a new event will drop today. We're going to get some new cards I'm excited about. We already saw the Saku Koivu. Just stick to the channel, guys. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you later.